Hi, this is Nag. Today we will see the timer programming in Siemens TI portal. Now I have already created a project in this TI portal. Now let's check the program. So first of all, we need to place the instruction on the network. Now I'm going to place a normally open instruction. So just click on this rung, place the instruction. And here you can see there is an empty box. Just place this box on your rung, followed by an output instruction. Now we need to assign the address for these instructions. So uh, I would like to give a memory address for this instruction. That is M0.0. .0. Now just click on this question mark. Now we need to assign the property for this particular box. So there are two types of timers, that is T on and T off. T on indicates on delay timer and T off indicates the off delay timer. So first we will see the on delay timer. You can click on this uh, uh, pop up window. You can type T O N. Here you can see T on. Just click and then click on enter. Here you can see uh, the call options. So you can go ahead with this uh, default name IEC timer 0 automatic click on ok now you can see the address has been assigned so use in and out so this pt that is a preset time so we need to assign the time so how much delay that you want so here uh, i would like to give a five seconds delay so type five and s enter so now you can see the the preset time is for five seconds here ET indicates the estimated time so if you want to estimate how much time is remaining then you can uh, just place a, a register over here so MD so memory double followed by a number so I'm giving as a 10 enter now uh, the, the the address for this timer uh, now we have assigned everything okay now we need to uh, assign an output uh, address over here that is uh, Q 0, 0.0 enter right so now uh, uh, I have successfully placed the timer in function on this particular rung now let's simulate this program first so for that we need to open the simulation so on the top you can see there is a start simulation so you can just click on this start simulation so now you can see a pop-up window so just click on OK. So, so here you can see uh, a small window. Uh, this is a simulation uh, window, right? So now it is compiling your uh, your program. So now uh, the, the, the program, uh, it is asking us to load, just click on load and then click on start all, finish. As you can see, the, the indication over here, it turns into green color, which means now your virtual controller is ready to simulate. So now it is in run mode. Now just minimize this window then click on the monitor option on the top so here you go you can test this timer now the moment when when i uh, turn this instruction on then the timer starts counting but you don't get any output here because this is a on delay timer so once the preset time is done after five seconds, this output will be turned on. Let's see that. Modify, right click, modify, turn, modify to one. Now you can see the timer starts. So two seconds, three, four, five. Here you go, the output turn on. Once again, we check, right click, modify, zero. Now the, you can see the output goes off the moment when I uh, close the input 
once again I, I I'll start this input modify to one here you go the timer starts but there is no output yet once the timing is done you can see the output goes high so this is an on delay timer so it takes some delay to switch on that is on delay similarly we can see the off delay timer okay so switch off the monitor okay now just open one more run this time one more normally open instruction once again an empty box followed by an output instruction here uh, the address m 0.1 enter now uh, I would like to show off the timer so T O F T off enter so here in the call option so you can go ahead with the default name otherwise if you want to change the name of this particular function you can change over here let it be automatic then click on ok again you need to give a preset time so for off delay so how much delay you need that you need to specify over here so once, once again give a 5 seconds 5 followed by s then again an estimated time so md followed by 20 so already we are given md 10 on the top so this time md 20 enter then again the output q 0 0.1 enter now let's simulate this off delay timer so minimize this window once again go to the top compile check for any errors so here in the bottom you can see there is no errors so minimize and then uh, we need to download this program into the simulation so again click on download so load so this program will be loaded into the uh, simulation once again minimize and now monitor so here we go we can test the off delay timer so the moment uh, uh, when uh, now this time uh, this instruction now it is in open uh, let's close this instruction uh, here to go now this off delay timer it will be activated when the input goes off let's see modify make it to zero now you can see the output it's still high till five seconds is done right now it goes off so which means off delay so to uh, to get off it takes some delay the delay which we have specified over here that is a preset times so off delay timer uh, will be triggered only when the input goes off now you can see when the input is high the output is on it is turned on the moment when I switch off the input to zero now you can see the timer starts so two three four five here you go the output goes off so now you can see the difference between the t on and t off t on the on delay timer and t off the off delay timer thank you